Hey guys. How's it going? I'm back with another video. Uh, we are now going to look at the Nikon Revolution, um, which is the new uh, PC, uh, PlayStation 4 controller. And we're going to look at the PC Companion app. I uh, did a video on this. Uh, sorry, I did an unboxing and people seem to like it, even though it was super shit quality. Um, so this time... I'm going to show you, take you through the actual companion app that you can download for it and change all the settings and whatnot. Um, and so you guys get a look at what it's like. Alrighty, so here is it. And you can download this from their website. Um, and yeah. So we'll, this is just the main page once you click on it and we go into it and it brings you up with all of this and it looks pretty, I don't know, confusing to you, but it's, we'll get there. So if you actually want to um, adjust anything, you have to have your controller um, on mode 2, which is on the actual controller itself, you have to switch it over to mode 2, otherwise nothing will actually... You won't change anything. It'll just be you'll be have it on the default DualShock 4 setting. So you need to have it on mode two, which is on the controller itself. From there, you've got your profiles down the side. One, two, three, four, and general settings. So you can have up to four profiles, obviously, because there's four profiles on the side. Down here, um, you've got controller profiles. So these are the profiles that are currently on your controller. My profiles, which is the one like that's the ones that you make. You can actually download profiles from Nacon's website. So far, there is one, two, three, four, five, five um, preset profiles that you can download from their website. And apparently, people can add their ones to the website, and then you can download other people's ones. Um, and then, yeah, another profiles, lots of profiles. Um, up here, you've got create new. So that's where you create your own profile. Um, and then obviously you can, um, or edit the name and stuff like that. So yeah, um, we'll go into my own profile that I made, Omega, that's where we're at. Um, you've got right joystick, the triggers, the macros, or macro, and mapping. Down here you've got the shortcuts, so obviously you want to have your your shortcut buttons, which are your two, your sorry, your four buttons underneath, you want them on because you want to be able to actually use them. Your backlight, which is on the controller itself, uh, vibration and macro, uh, macro again. Um, you can turn it off. I haven't actually used macro too much. I haven't really touched. It. I don't have any need for it at this stage. Um, I hate vibration, so I turn that off. So wait, we'll go into joystick. So you've got here. Um, your your left hand joystick is this one here and you can adjust your static dead zone this gives you a little bit about it it's taken me a while to figure out what this is but basically you want it lower or personally i want it lower because say you make it really big that whole area on your controller is no, is doing nothing so all this area in between, that's where you actually get movement. So you're pretty much always going to have to have your finger always moving the controller, if you know what I mean. Um, and if it's just resting in the middle, nothing's going to happen. So I like to have quick responses, so I don't want any dead zone, to be honest. So I will have it on... I suppose you could have it on too. I honestly, like, I don't know too much about this whole dead zone stuff, but yeah save um this one is your right hand stick or your aiming stick and you've got either small movements medium movements big movements one two three um and you can adjust those as well as as you see fit um so i've been fiddling with this for a long time um trying to figure out where i want my sensitivity basically um i still haven't quite got it I've had I've been switching between the default if I go reset is 33 33 34 um, I've been switching between um, making small movements lower and these two movements higher you can also lock them which I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's for but yeah um, we'll save that bang um, your triggers 
this is your trigger so basically you can make it like a hair trigger um so i've uh, when you start they're like this sorry i'll reset them so this is how they look like so when you actually pull your trigger in you'll go from zero all the way to 100 real quick <laughs> um so right down to 100 down here that's when you know the full range of movement so if uh, you want to make them sort of what hair triggers um or trigger stops as you can get in like cinch and scuff or whatever um just move it down to about 50 on both uh you can you can obviously do this however you like this is just what i've been playing around with at the moment so yeah pretty much as soon from zero to 50 so it's only you have to only pull the trigger halfway and that'll give you um you know that hair trigger effectiveness whatever um I haven't played around too much with um, bringing this up. I mean, you could go like that, what, 10%. So you've got a tiny trigger pull sort of thing, but yeah. And mapping. Mapping. Here is where you can literally map any button you want. Um, so here are your... So these are all just the normal buttons and, and, and what they would normally do on a normal controller and then here are your your extra four buttons which are on the back so i click on that and then it turns the controller around in the picture um one and three and two and four so what have i been playing battlefield recently so i've got um change weapon underneath i've got crouch and get down on the ground or prone um i've got l3 left three is um oh my god hold breath so when I'm sniping, because I usually snipe, um, um, you know how you have to push down the trigger. After doing that a lot, my thumb gets super sore. So I will, I've will i changed that to um, underneath on one of the extra buttons. So I don't have to keep pushing my thumb down to hold my breath to steady my scope. And then the last one, M4, is just, um, uh, what is it, med pack or, you know, one of your um, one of your extra items that you get when you're playing Battlefield. So that's my mapping, and um, yeah, once again, you can you can change this to however you want. So, like, if I wanted X to be square for some reason, I don't know why, but you can do that. But I don't want it to be that. But yeah, all you have to do is like click on, my my controller is plugged into my PC right now. All you have to do is highlight it, and then go. Hmm, what do I want triangle to be? I'll go circle, and you just click circle on the controller itself, and it changes to circle. But I do not want that um you can't change the touchpad as well you cannot change the touchpad button that stays as it is just because you can't i don't know why you'd want to anyway um and yeah shortcuts so obviously um i don't know why you'd map buttons and then not have the shortcuts on with those extra buttons but you can turn them off and then they won't work but uh yeah obviously i want them on and macro i honestly i can't tell you much about the macro like i'll go into it here um You've got four macros, which I'm guessing are the four buttons underneath. And then you can go modify, and then it brings up this crazy shit that I haven't really played around with much at the moment. Um, I don't know what this... Yeah, you can go... Define your macro. No, short, medium, long, extra long. I, sh I wouldn't have a clue what this does, to be honest. Add... I don't know. What's X there? Oh, yeah. Circle. Oh, look, I'm finding out things as I'm doing this. Uh, no, we'll get rid of that. And I can't. There we go. Yeah. Well, that is about it, guys. Oh, sorry. No general settings. So you can actually do your um, your lighting. So I've got mine on a slow post. Um, and and you know you can make it super bright if you want. Um, uh, on this side, you can have your vibrate uh, your um, vibration, your fucking dual shock, whatever thing. Um, and you can test that, which I am going to do right now for some reason. It's not working at all. Why is it not working at all? Oh my god. And oh, and here also you can have firmware update, so you can check for updates, contact in the server. Your controller has the latest firmware, apparently 1.38. And yeah. And that is um, the PC Companion app for the Revolution Software 1.1 Beta. Um, download it off their website. And I hope you liked this video. Cheers, guys. Peace out.